Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to go over the FabFitFun Winter 2019-2020 calendar, edit sale calendar with you right now. And then I am going to do, which I haven't done in a while, I don't even know how long it's been, it's been a couple of months, I'm going to do a FabFitFun product review for you. So if you're new to this, it's where I just gather a whole bunch of products I've used from FabFitFun and I talk about as many as I possibly can. And then if you're curious, I know some of you are, I will do at the very end a pregnancy update. I am almost four months pregnant on Wednesday. It will be 16 weeks, weeks, 16 weeks so four months pregnant. First, let's go over the FabFitFun calendar. So it's still, <laughs> I'm getting excited, but it's still, by the time you're seeing this, it's probably it's still another week or so away, but let's just go over it. So the, there's, the last time for the add-on sale, they did this whole restructure to the calendar and when the sale windows were open, and they're doing something very, very similar. So the Edit sale for select members, so that's annual members, opens on December 26th, so the day after Christmas, and then that select access closes on January 1st, and then the sale will be closed to everyone for only two days, and then on January 3rd, it will open up. It will open up again to everybody. So that will be uh, to annual members and seasonal members will be able to shop again. I'm sorry, seasonal members. This whole restructure seems like it must really stink for you guys. It, it will open up again on January 3rd, and then it will be open all the way until January 12th. So, so that's the 26th of December. Select member access opens. That closes January 1st. It opens again January 3rd to everybody, and then that closes on January 12th. So I will do my darndest to, to get my review video up shortly after it opens for select members. I will be at my parents' house and their internet is god awful. So I remember one time I was there and I uploaded one of, uh, I think it was a FabFitFun product review video and it took 18 hours. But I will do my best and hopefully I will have it up just within two or three days after the sale opens. But mind you, it'll take a whole day for the video to actually upload. So that was maddening, but I will do it. So that's the calendar. Let's get into the product review. So I'm just gonna actually kind of just talk until my voice gets tired. So I'll start with this one. This is the Orlando Pita Play Atmo Shield Hair Protectant Spray. So this is like one of those leave-in conditioning sprays. And this claims to do a whole bunch of stuff. It's a heat protectant, it protects from pollutants, it conditions, it uh, preserves shine, it, it provides humidity control, enhances manageability, repairs split ends, refreshes curls, help, helps maintain color. So actually, I don't know about all that, but this was a great product. I really do, uh, I really did enjoy using it. It has a nice salon fresh uh, light scent and it worked really well. And uh, for me, with curly hair, these don't work very well just on their own, these in general, these leave-in sprays, but I would imagine if you have mostly straight hair, these are probably pretty amazing, but I would get this again because I do like to use these before I put my hair in a braid if I'm feeling a little lazy. So this is empty. I'm going to throw this away. The next thing I have here, this is also empty. This is the Immunocology Hyaluronic Serum. And this is very, very nice. Immunocology is one of the higher end, super organic, sustainable, all of that lovely stuff, brands that FabFitFun seems to regularly carry and have in their sales. This one I think was like $39 and it retails for something like a hundred plus dollars. It's a very nice hyaluronic serum. It has like a peppery kind of scent. It didn't last very long, so it's very pricey and, and it's quite small. But I did enjoy using it. I don't think that I would spend that much money on it again because I'm not rolling in money. So, um, but it was a nice hyaluronic serum while I used it. Um, speaking of hyaluronic serums though, if you, if this is ever available again, it was available in a package and I mentioned this in my unboxing, but it was available in a package in the fall add-ons and I got this and this 
is a much more affordable hyaluronic skin essence which will serve the same purpose as this which is the hyaluronic serum so this is much more expensive and I think I paid less for this and you can see the difference in size and this I've had for almost a year or so. I would go for something like this if you want to save a little more money. I have a couple more of those leave-in sprays like the Orlando Pita Play that I just showed you. So we'll go through those. This is the Briogeo Rosarco Milk Rep... rep Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. It looks like this. This one is really well raved about and I wanted to try it to see if it lived up to the hype and it did. I love the way the sprayer is. It has a nice mist that doesn't spray too wide or anything and it, it distributes really well. I wonder if I can get out. This is empty. I wonder if I can get... I don't even know what I'm trying to do right now. I wanted you to see how well it sprayed, but it probably won't come across on camera. But this does live up to the hype, and it has a nice, again, not quite the same, but a fresh, light, salon-type scent, just like how I described the Orlando Pita Play, and I love that kind of a scent. So I would, I would agree. I would agree with the hype on this, and if you like these kinds of products and you haven't tried it, I would definitely suggest trying to pick it up again in a future sale. And then this is the Dry Bar Pep Rally that just, Prep, Prep Rally, that just came in the add-on, um, nope, the winter box. So I have tried it a couple times, and this is also a very nice leave-in conditioning spray. It's a prime and prep detangler, so I think it's a little bit lighter than a conditioning spray. It looks like this. And I, I, I think that this is nice. It does feel a little bit lighter, like it's not, quite as much there to be the leave-in conditioning spray. It's more for detangling and I can feel that difference. Again, another like kind of, this one has an even subtler scent and it is fresh and salon-like. And so I like this one too, I do. So that was a hit on all of those leave-in conditioning sprays. All of them were great. I got this in a sale a while ago, maybe last spring. It's the Green Goo Deodorant Wild Rose. And this one, I wanted to like this, but it's a natural plant-based deodorant. And the great thing about this one is that it's baking soda free. And a lot of people, I don't know, not maybe not a lot, but there are a significant amount of people out there who have an allergy to baking soda and can't use most natural deodorants because they have baking soda in them. This one's baking soda free. This did not work for me though. I was pretty stinky by about 2, 3 p.m. in the afternoon, the times that I tried it. So that was a bit of a bummer. I don't, I, I'm gonna be donating this one. This one I touched on in my unboxing that I just posted a couple weeks ago, the add-ons. And it's the DP Hue Apple Cider Vinegar Shampoo and Conditioner Substitute Hair Rinse. So it looks like this. I got the big guy. This is fine. It's very, very clarifying. The smell is kind of eh, but it's really not very... I have a couple of things. I don't think it lived up to the hype. This one also has a hype, just like that Briogeo product I just showed you. I don't think it lived up the hype for me, up to the hype for me. One thing about it that I also mentioned in my last video is that it does say it's got color locking technology. My hair is not color treated, so that could be why a lot of people really like this. And another thing about it is if you're into ingredients, this has a formaldehyde releaser in it. So I I don't know. I don't I think that this is good, but I don't I don't have a need after I'm done. I am not this is not something that I will hope will be in another sale, and if it is, I'm not gonna get it. This one is a grown alchemist purifying body exfoliant pro peppermint and elong elong i never know how to say that and it is a body scrub and i got this in maybe a summer sale and it is it's a nice body scrub i gotta say i've used a lot of grown alchemist products where i was excited to use it ex like i would look forward to use it using it and um i get in my shower and i forget that this is even in the shower so it's not it's it's a body scrub. It's a fine, it's a good body scrub, but it doesn't um, wow me like some of their other products. It doesn't have a very strong scent, so that's really nice. It smells like fresh springiness. Yeah, I guess it's a slightly minty. It's peppermint, pearl, pearl, I don't know how you smell pearl, but peppermint, uh, maybe pearl, maybe pearls are what the exfoliators are. Anyway, 
um, peppermint and elong elong, and I think that's a flower. I need to, I'll correct myself across the screen about what that even is. But, yeah, so it smells a little springy and it, like slightly minty and maybe like a very, very subtle flower. And it's not very strong at all, so if you like things that aren't very strongly scented and you want a body, body scrub, sure, this is great, but this doesn't knock my socks off like some of the Grown Alchemist products, products have. Yeah, so that's, I kind of, I get it, like I said, I get in the shower and I forget it's there, so. This I wanted to talk about because I'm kicking myself that I didn't pick it up in the last sale. It showed up in the last sale. This came in um, the winter box a year ago. Everyone got it. It's the Ahava Hydration Cream, Cream Mask. And it, it was repackaged, so it didn't look like this in the sale. I really, really like this stuff. It's an overnight sleeping mask. So you do your nighttime skincare routine, and then you put this, a good, like, solid layer of this on. You can either wash it off or you can go to sleep in it. I go to sleep in it, and my skin in the morning is the softest I've ever felt my skin ever, every time. So I really, really like this. It was in the sale last time, and I'm hoping that it shows up in the sale again, um, the one that's coming up, because I will pick up a couple. I really do enjoy using this stuff. So I have a couple of Lifestyle Co. items, and this is an LA-based company. They're all natural, organic, cruelty-free, all of that wonderful stuff. And I haven't seen them. They were in a few sales in a row. I don't think I saw anything by them in the last sale. Maybe there was. But I have a couple of things here. This I used for the first time this morning. This is their 100% natural eye serum, uh, corrective eye serum. And it is just like a rollerball. And it's, it's slightly oily. I used it for the first time this morning. And it went on a really thin layer of light oil around my eyes. And it didn't get into my eyes. I have had that happen where you put oil on your face and then somehow some gets into your eyes and then you're blurry for a few hours. That's a bummer when that happens. But this did not creep into my eyes and it felt great. This also, I, I picked this up because it had been in a prior sale and I saw on the forum people were just kind of raving about it, the people that happened to grab it. And so it came up again in the following sale and so I grabbed one too. It was a good price and I can actually foresee this lasting quite a while since it's just an oil and it's 10 milliliters. I will give you an update as usual. I like to give you first impressions, then another impression as I use something a few times, and then I'll do an empty. So I will let you know if my opinion evolves about this one as I use it. And then this one is the Lifestyle Co. And this I've talked about. It's their 100% natural ultimate makeup remo remover. It's an oil-based makeup remover for the double cleanse. And it's wonderful. It's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Smells great, herbal, spa-like, and it has like five ingredients. Organic cold pressed sweet almond oil, lavender essential oil, vitamin E, aloe vera extract, and that's it. That's amazing. That just goes to show we don't need all that other stuff that's just in so many products. <laughs> and this was $5. I think it, the retail is something like 20 something dollars. But it was five dollars in the sale, so if it shows up and you want an oil cleanser, this is a really nice one. I have this from Terra Mare. This is a dual action bamboo acai scrub. So Terra Mare, I've talked about it a few times, lovely high-end vegan organic skincare line. There have been some things that I've used by them that I do not like. Actually just one thing, and I've talked about it before. I'm looking at it right now. It's in my shower. I'll grab it. This one. I almost gave this one away. This is their this is their charcoal uh, active coconut charcoal clarifying cleanser. And I did not like this. I pulled it out of my giveaway pile because I struck out on cleansers and this was the best of the worst that I had on hand to use. I can put it back in my giveaway pile actually because I got my Namaste cleanser that I showed you in my unboxing. That's in my shower too. I'm gonna leave that one alone. <laughs> I've talked about it a few times. Okay, so this is the Terra, back to this. The uh, bamboo, it's a scrub, it's a facial scrub. This is really interesting because you smell it at first and it smells okay, it smells good. It smells kind of a slightly sweet, but like, like sweet, fresh cut grass, but with flower, there's something floral in it. And I, I can smell a little bit of berry, there's the acai. It's hard to pinpoint and describe, but it's nice. But what's funny is once you start putting it on 
the smell kind of evolves into like a maybe pepperminty a little bit. It's, it's a very interesting scrub to use. I enjoy using it. I don't enjoy using it anywhere near as much as the Grown Alchemist Exfoliant. That was in the video that I did when I collaborated with my friend Chip for Moment with Chip. It was the top five products I've used and top of, and five worst products I've used. Anyway, so this is this is a fun scrub, facial scrub to use. I wouldn't jump on getting it again, but I do enjoy it. I like it. I do like it. And it's really interesting how it smells one way and then as you rub it on, I guess maybe something activates and it starts to smell slightly different and it does feel very invigorating. The pepperminty-ness of it as you're rubbing it in feels very invigorating. So I do like that about it too. Okay, this is the Seed Phytonutrients Ultra Rich Face Cream and I got this a uh, couple sales ago and it is really good. I hesitated because there's something, it's practically unscented, but the scent that is there, it's like a little sweet tart scent, which is great, but there's something about it that I personally don't like, but I think that that's just like me personally. I think generally people would think it was really, really nice. It's great for dry skin. I feel like it's enough. I do use it over a facial oil, so keep that in mind, but I do, it's ultra rich facial cream, so I thought that that would be that, that tell, told me that it would be really good for my dry skin. So I, I like this. I had seen it at Whole Foods and then a few days later the sale opened up and they had a few of the products from these people. It's Seed Phytonutrients is the name of the company. So they're also organic, cruelty free, non-toxic, all of that wonderful stuff. And I, I gotta say, I really appreciate the uh, that bit fun seems to be leaning more and more toward that. They're also leaning more and more toward women-owned companies and and up-and-coming companies, which means they are leaning more toward companies that we haven't really heard of. And so it makes it really hard to uh, navigate the sales and decide what we're going to want to buy and all of that because it's not stuff that we've heard of that we've seen everywhere. But I really appreciate that that bit fun's been doing that. It it kind of speaks to my values as a consumer. I'll talk about a few things. My voice is getting a little bit tired. I feel like it's been shaky this whole video and I'm sorry about that. This one I did not like. I do not like this one. <laughs> I, do, I was excited about this one. It's Nuria Defend Gentle Exfoliator. And I thought I had completely misread it when it was in the sale. I thought that this was a chemical exfoliant. I thought it had glycolic acid in it. I was way off. It is a physical exfoliant. It's a gentle physical exfoliant, but the first thing I don't like about it is whatever it is in here to be the physical exfoliant, it feels the same way as when you're rubbing your skin and you can feel your skin start to slough off because, you know, our skin cells, they, they, they come off, right? Sometimes. And, and so it, it feels like the little balls of skin. It has that same texture. So it kind of weirds me out because I feel like it's my skin. And then on top of that, it has a smell that I don't like. It's not bad. I think there's something about it that might remind me of a cleaner that I've used in the past, like in the past, like a bathroom cleaner or something. It's not horrible. I just don't, I don't like it. For, I didn't like I think mainly I don't like what the physical exfoliant material, or whatever it is, uh, the texture of it weirds me out. And then uh, that's the main thing. And then on top of that, the smell wasn't something that I really enjoyed. Here's a Grown Alchemist product that I love. So the Summer Box, I think, yeah, the Summer Box I didn't like very much. But the Summer Edit Box I thought was great. So I bought it in the shop when I could customize it. That's a little tip. If you ever see an Edit Box in the Edit Sale, at least this is how it worked in the past. That bit fun tends to change things sometimes. But in the past, I um, have noticed that you can buy the Edit Sale the edit box in the edit sale, but you can't typically customize it. But if you wait and you order the edit box outside of the edit sale in the shop, then you can customize it. So that's what I did for the summer. So I don't know if that's a rule going forward, but that's what I did. And so I waited, I bought it, I could customize it, and this came in that summer edit sale box. I bought it because the summer box I didn't like and I wanted a box that I liked. And this is, what is it? <laughs> it is the Grown Alchemist Deep Cleansing Facial Mask, Wheat Germ, Ginkgo, and Cranberry. And this is what it looks like. 
And this is basically the best clay mask I think I have ever used. It smells so heavenly, herbal spa, like you feel like you are getting a massage, that kind of smell that you smell in massage parlors, like good ones. And it is so clarifying. It, it, it is a great clay mask. I really like this one. I haven't actually seen it. I don't think I have seen it in a sale. I just got it in that box, but it's great. So if it pops up in a sale and you are looking for a clay mask, I recommend it. I, uh, I, find, I, happen, I find I often have an, uh, an abundance of clay masks. I think that's about all I got in me for product reviews. I am going, if you're leaving this video now, thank you for joining me. I'm going to start talking about a pregnancy update. I also have uh, an important update about what's going on in my personal life that might continue to affect the frequency of my videos. I typically would try to upload at least twice a week. You've probably noticed that I've gone down to once a week, maybe you've noticed, and I will probably be at once a week for a while. I'll tell you why. First, I'll start with the baby update, and then I'll tell you about the, it's a job change, uh, I'm moving, blah, blah, blah. Let's start with the baby updates. I am uh, officially in my second trimester. I, on, uh, Wednesday the 18th of December, so I don't know when this will, video will be uploaded, but Wednesday the 18th of December I will be 16 weeks, so that's four months. I have a baby bump. Let me see if I can show you. I definitely have a bump. So there you go. <laughs> I am feeling, um, I have my maternity pants on. I was having some nausea and discomfort toward the end of my first trimester. The beginning of my first trimester, I was just really, really hungry and queasy all the time at the same time. I could eat a super burrito, I could eat a, blah. I could eat a super burrito in one sitting and then be hungry three hours later and then I was queasy on top of it. It was odd. Luckily, my appetite kind of evened out and normalized because I was really worried. <laughs> but um, there must have been some calories and vitamins and things that my body really needed to get ready for this pregnancy. And then it turned into nausea at nighttime, discomfort at nighttime, and that started at about nine weeks. And then that lasted until maybe a week or two ago. I haven't really felt it so much, maybe slightly, but nothing like before. And now I feel pretty okay. A symptom that I had no idea was something that could happen from pregnancy is I have dry eye. <laughs> I, I am needing drops every hour. I didn't know what was happening a few nights ago. I just wanted to claw my eyes out. It was so bad. But I, one of my best friends is in an optometrist, so I called her and she walked me through it. She said it's super common for pre pregnant women and here's what um, my tips are. So I've been treating it and it's been feeling a lot better. I'm, I still, I'm still having discomfort, but it's nothing like it was now that I know what it is. Um, and then and I am waiting for this burst of energy that I'm supposed to get in the second trimester. That would be really, really nice. I still feel pretty lethargic and just ever, like everything is so much harder. Everything just feels so much harder. But I'm making myself do it and I am very, I'm very happy. I'm scared actually. I'm, very, I'm petrified. This is my first baby so I'm petrified. I imagine that's pretty normal. You know, I'm, I'm, I know that I want children and I'm 37 so I've got to kind of do I've, I've kind of got to do it now. I wouldn't mind waiting longer. <laughs> but we're very, very excited. Okay, so now the other thing I was referring to, I have mentioned that where I live is extremely expensive. I pay a ton of money for this apartment, which you have gotten to see quite a bit of. It's a one bedroom, one bath apartment in a very, very beautiful area in California, and we simply cannot afford to uh, we cannot afford to ever buy a home here. My husband and I just had to get realistic with ourselves. And so we've decided that we need to move and I applied for a job in Southern California and I got it. <laughs> well, it's contingent on them check checking in with my immediate boss. They've checked all my references, but they want to talk to my immediate boss. But they sent me an offer, and once they talk to him, they're ready to make it firm and final, and it will go fine, I'm sure. He's not going to be happy. If we don't look out for ourselves, who else will, right? I'm also really, really 
scared to get there and shortly thereafter have to tell them, you know, what I learned right around when I applied for this job, actually. Within days of applying for this job, I learned that I am pregnant and I'm gonna need to go on maternity leave anyway, so I'm really, I'm scared to tell my boss, I have to tell him tomorrow and I'm scared to tell them that. But it's for the best in the long run and it's by my parents, so we, grandma and grandpa will be around to help take care of the baby. There's every practical reason to move there. Houses are, you get, you get twice the house for half as much money there. It's just, it just makes sense. So that's what's going on. I will be getting the firm job offer in a few days and I need to move and start a new job while four months pregnant in a month. <laughs> within a month. I'm gonna give them, I told them I would start within a month from the hard signed offer if I were to get the job and I should stick to that. So that's going to keep my up upload schedule to about once a week. This is all, I'm also just very nervous and preoccupied with the whole thing. Yeah, so this is all very important stuff that's going on in my life and anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!